What's up you guys? My name is Glenn Jumandi and I'm tasked to report about the water distribution systems, specifically about pumps and turbines. Let's start. So the water distribution system is a part of a water supply network with components that carry potable water from a centralized treatment plant or wells to water consumers in order to adequately deliver water to satisfy residential, commercial, industrial, and firefighting requirements. So the purpose of the distribution system is to deliver water to consumer with appropriate quality, quantity, and pressure. Distribution system is used to describe collectively the facilities used to supply water from its source to the point of usage. So here are some requirements of good distribution system. So first, water quality should not get deteriorated in the distribution pipes. It should be capable of supplying water at all the intended places with sufficient pressure head. It should be capable of supplying also the requisite amount of water during firefighting. Firefighting rather. So the layout should be such that no consumer would be without water supply during the repair of the system in any section of the system. So all the distribution pipes should be preferably laid one meter away or above the sewer lines. And lastly, it should be fairly watertight as to keep uh, loses due to leakage up to the minimum. So a water distribution system consists of a pumping station, a water tower, water mains, fire hydrants, and service lines. It also consists of pipelines, storage facilities, pumps, and other accessories. So let's go to the pumps and turbines and their definitions. So the pump adds energy to the fluid while the turbines extract energy from the fluid. So pump. What is pump? A pump is the heart of most irrigation systems and if not maintained can cost much more power than required leading to excess pumping cost and wasting electricity. To make an irrigation system as efficient as possible, the pump must be selected to match the requirement of the water source, the water distribution system, and the irrigation equipment. So, pumps used for irrigation include centrifugal, deep well turbine, submersible, and propeller pumps. Actually, turbine, submersible, and propeller pumps are special forms of centrifugal pump. However, their names are common in the industry. So, this centrifugal pump. Centrifugal pumps are used to pump from reservoir, lakes, streams, and shallow wells. They are also used as booster pumps in irrigation pipelines. All centrifugal pumps must be filled completely with water or brine before they can operate. Deep wheel turbine pumps. Deep wheel turbine pumps are adapted for use in case wells or where the water surface is below the practical limits of centrifugal pump. Turbine pumps are also used with surface water system. So type of pumps. The first type of pump is the, is the dynamic pumps. Dynamic pumps are classified into different types, but some of them are centrifugal, vertical centrifugal, horizontal centrifugal, submersible, and also fire hydrant systems. <clears throat> Example of the dynamic pumps are first centrifugal pumps. These types of pumps are most commonly used worldwide. The working is very simple described well and carefully tested. This pump is strong, efficient, and fairly cheap to make. Whenever the pump is in action, then the fluid pressure will increase from the inlet of the pump to its outlet. The change of pressure will drive the liquid throughout the system. Vertical centrifugal pumps. Vertical centrifugal pumps are also called as cantilever pumps. These pumps shown use an exclusive shaft and maintain design that permits the volume to fall within the pit as the, bearing, as the bearings are external to the pit. This mode of pump utilizes no filling container to cover the shaft however, in its place uses a throttle brushing. A parts washer is the common application of this kind of pump. The horizontal centrifugal pumps. So this type of pump include a minimum of 
two other wells more impellers. These pumps are utilized in pumping services. Every stage is fundamentally a divided pump. So the submersible pumps. These pumps are also named as storm water, sewage, and septic pumps. The application of these pumps mainly include building services, domestic, industrial, commercial, rural, municipal, and rainwater recycle applications. So the second type of uh, pump is the positive displacement pumps. The positive displacement pumps are classified in different types but some of them are diaphragm, gear, peristaltic, blue, and piston pumps. So let's go to the turbine. A turbine is a device that harnesses the kinetic energy of some fluid such as water, steam, air, or combustion gases and turn this into uh, the rotational motion of the device itself. These devices are generally used in electrical generation, engines, and repulsion systems and are classified as a type of engine. So the hydro turbines. Hydro turbines are de devices used in hydroelectric generation plants that transfer their energy from the wa moving water to a rotating shaft to generate electricity. These turbines rotates or spin as a response to water being introduced to their blades. These turbines are essential in the area of hydropower, the process of the generating power from water. So this picture beside this text is a Francis turbine. So this is the work of hydroelectric power system. The water flowing from the dam or spillway goes to the generator or to the turbine and then create an energy and that is the electricity as you can see the water from the lake passes through the uh, pit I think pit and then generate electricity from turbines so hydroelectricity Water held behind the dam is released and allowed to fall on a turbine generating electricity when connected to a generator. These turbines are essential in the area of hydropower, the process of obtaining power from water. So that's all. Thank you.